Why, you're a half hour. Why, Vernon, what a pleasant surprise. I want to talk to you. I can't right now. It's important. All right, but I only have a few minutes. Obviously, since our relationship is primarily a social one. What does that mean? It must be if you haven't been interested enough to see me during these past weeks. I called the hospital the following day, left my sympathies. Very generous of you. Vernon, I'm very sorry about your accident, but... Pain isn't a desirable substitute for laughter and excitement, is it? Vernon, I've had a great many things to do. I'm also expecting a guest within a half a hour. Guest? So you don't own me, Vernon. I know! Well, there were times when I needed you. Remember your favorite line? That would be too much like playing a great composition over and over. You had to play many in order to live and grow as an artist. There's a difference now. I can't explain everything right away, but my life has changed. You've got to understand. Vernon, if one of your other women has put you in your place, I don't see any reason to come crying to me. That's not it. Yes, there were others. There were others for you, too. I don't think either of us had any illusions about that. But for me, you were always the most important. The loveliest. In the back of my mind, maybe I always thought that someday. Vernon, neither of us ever thought that someday. You were always a very exciting, very desirable man. But this attitude in you now, this heaviness, I don't like it at all. I'll be very happy to see you on the old basis, but right now I'd wish you'd go. What if the old basis has been changed by something I can do nothing about? I don't like you this way, and I don't like riddles. What if there won't be any concerts or parties? What if there'll only be me? Stop it, Vernon. I've never seen you this way, and I don't want you this way. What if there'll only be me? Stop it! Stop it! Answer me! Let me go! Your hands are breaking my arms! Your hands! Yes, my hands! The hands that brought you concerts, parties, glamour, excitement. That's what happened when you called to lead your sympathies. My hands that you knew so well. Look! They don't look like my hands, do they? They're not. My hands were destroyed the night of my greatest concert. But medical science gave me a new pair of hands, hands from another body so that I can play again. Yes, Eileen, I may play again, but I may not. What if there'll only be me? What will you do if I need your help now more than I need your beauty? Don't touch me! <laughs> 